What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and today we're back on some stranded deep, looking at this beautiful sunset. So, as a new day arises on the stranded deep, we get into flying. Yes, that is right, flying. I believe I have reached the required level. And got the required parts to finally make, like, the helicopter. I'm going to call it a helicopter because it kind of is. Even though it's called, I'm pretty sure it's called, like, the gyrocopter or something like that. Because it is the small version. But if we go into vehicles and go all the way over here, as you can see, uh, that is, we can actually build it. It required level 6, so we are now level 6 craftsman level. Um, so, I think... I do believe I've got every single part I need to make this docked up already. Because I've just been stocking my parts up. I only made the moat boat for my raft. But then I didn't really use it because it's just pointless. And it takes way too much gas and everything. But I really want to try out this helicopter, gyrocopter, whatever you want to call it, thing. That's what we're going to be building today. So, if we go over into our back. Uh, where we have our fuel and this is all my parts kind of in these boxes so as you can see I've got a good amount of them stocked up but I don't quite know what I need so we, it looks like we only need like one of everything no we need two batteries three of them Okay, two batteries. These things, which I've noticed that don't really go anywhere, but one, two, three. I'm pretty sure we need some of them, one of them. I'm getting like one of everything, I think. And we don't need the electric tape, which is handy, because that tape comes in handy for uh, building bandages, just in case we get attacked by a shark or something. Oh, and it's raining, we're gonna have a storm. Which is fantastic, even though these are on two. These are on two as well. So this is our fuel farm, as you can see, potatoes. And I've been crafting a ton of fuel. I've got a bunch more potatoes ready to go right here, as you can see. Two more stockpiled. Uh, and this has just made another one, but I haven't got another jerry can to fill up. So this gyrocopter is actually going to be kind of cool to do. And maybe a fuel. And see if we can actually pilot this thing. I think I am going to build it here. So we need our hammer. So yeah, I believe we got everything. So we got the frame. We can craft and we can just place down anywhere. Place. So that's our first piece. As you can see, it's got a puzzle piece. I don't think we need to whack this now to build it even more. Then we have got our seat going on. That's pretty cool. Then the, um, an important one, the engine, which is going to sit at the back of us. And that's where we're going to fill it up with fuel. And it's going to lead in to the motor. Very, very cool. Next is the cockpit, which... Get loads of dials and instruments and everything on it. It's actually our compass on, which is actually pretty handy. Okay, we can actually tell where we're going. And last but not least, the rotors or the blades, which go on right there. And boom, it's done. And we just unlocked the achievement for it as well. Pretty cool. We can actually. S can we just sit in it? Or do we actually have to... Okay, it's got no fuel in, so we can't start the engine, obviously. Actually, can we actually... Uh... Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, we can actually move this around. Just like you can do with your raft and everything. That's pretty handy. But we need fuel. So, let's just go and put this hammer away, because I don't believe we need it. And it's just taking up inventory space. Uh, what help if I had it in my hand? There we go. Let's put that away. Drop this rock. 
Because I, I don't think this has got a weight limit to it. I'd be very surprised if it has, but we're going to get one fuel, one jerry can that's completely full up. And then, I believe, we just fill it, fill it up, and that's it. That is it. Now, it's a shame you can't actually make this into a proper helicopter or anything. Um, because I'd love to add some kind of storage to this. So I could go to islands. Oh, actually, I need to test out the speed of it. I need to know if it's, like, faster than my raft. And I'm hoping it is faster than the raft and the uh, motorboat as well. Um, because that thing was really, really slow. But I don't think it's a bright idea to do our test flight in the middle of a storm. I'm going to sit. I want to sit in it. Okay, so we're on it. Oh, I'm actually moving. I was actually moving and I wasn't going anywhere. It stops. Okay, that's kind of bumpy, isn't it? Yeah, as it moves like just bumping on the ground like that, I don't think I want to be taken out into a storm. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait until this storm's over, bring you mortals back, and then we're going to go on a test flight. Now, I don't know where to, maybe to a close island or something, but we definitely are going to go on a test flight and see how badly it really goes. So I'll be back once the storm is actually over. So we are back. And it is bright blue skies again. We ha we've, we've got a f good deal of light left, which is very, very nice to see. So. Gotta go. I'm trying to think of the best island to go to. Let's have a look at my inventory. Jerry can. You know what? Let's just see if we can actually do anything. So the right trigger is to go up. Okay, quite easy to maneuver. We can actually go backwards. That's handy. And forwards. We can see our fuel consumption as well. I'm guessing the left trigger is to go down okay okay right then off for a flight I think I can actually look around properly okay wow uh, where are you going oh some clay there I do with that I'm gonna go over to this island if I can Feels not too bad. I was hoping it'd be a lot faster than this. Our meat's done. Oh well, we'll come back to the meat. We don't really matter. Kind of hard to control though, because this is full tilt all the way forward, and it seems kind of slow. Now I do believe we are losing altitude as we are holding forward. So every now and again, I guess I'm going to have to keep put my finger on the right trigger to get to gain some altitude again. This isn't too bad. Oh, that island completely disappeared. We're going to have to try and wait for that to load back in. There we go. I'm guessing this is pretty noisy as well. Aha, there's our little campsite. I think the landing is, might be like the hardest part. Oh, yeah, because even if you just touch down, touch on the left trigger, it goes down pretty fast. Look. So as we're close, we can just stop the engine. And luckily, there's there isn't really a hitbox on the propellers because getting off it, dude, you'd get chopped up in them propellers.
That isn't too bad. And we we bought we went through about a quarter of a fuel uh, from island to island. So honestly, I don't know what you'd really use this for particularly because I don't know if it was remotely faster in any way. Let's just pick these up because I really need them. Uh, so yeah. If you have... Oh, that was a snake. That's lucky that didn't bite me. So more is, if you have like any good ideas of what these are actually meant to be used for, please let me know. Give me this. Thank you. Uh, because I don't really know what you'd use it for. Fair enough, the, the, the raft is a bit slow. Why can't I pick this up? Yeah. Why can't I pick you up? Oh, I think it's glitched out, actually. One, two. I can pick it up. We've got a... F uh, yeah, I th believe this that was glitched out. But yeah, if you have, like, any ideas of what that could actually be used for, please let me know down in the comments. Apart from short distances, I really do not think that it's a good idea. Just because you can't carry anything on it. You have to, you'll have to carry boxes in your inventory just to store stuff. But with the raft, you can hold so much more. Especially the way I have the raft set up. Uh, I'm basically here. Oh, there's potatoes. We'll take them. I'm basically here for lashings and stuff like that. Oh, another palm. And these. They'd come in so, uh, so handy for filling our water stills up. Coconut. Gimme. I'll drink this. Gimme the coconut. Gimme the coconut. Thank you. Drink this. There we go. Our water's back full. And everything's alright. So. Not particularly fast in any sense of the word. Fuel consumption's not too bad. Speed is... I feel like it goes a bit faster when you're reversing. I don't know why that is. just feels like you go faster while you're reversing. That's not really practical. Definitely cool. Definitely really, really cool to have something like this in the game and you can actually make it. But yet again, shame it's not bigger. It's a shame you can't put storage on it. And I really wish you could actually see how fast you were going. Because you really can't. It gives you the fuel gauge the compass, but I think this speed dial is just broken or something, because it doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, that, that is the, the gyrocopter, which is pretty cool. I might have to make a landing pad for it, just on its own. My island's completely disappeared for some reason. This, this might be a faster way when I'm actually... Uh, Dropping everything off to the plane over there. This might be the fastest way to do that. Just because I can land on top of the ship. And I don't have to go through up all the stairs and everything. Um, but apart from that. I don't really see what I'd use it for. Maybe a quick trip over to an island or two. Maybe just to get some of these fibrous leaves and stuff. Uh, but that's about it. So we're going down. I'm trying to go down slowly because I don't know if this has some kind of durability or not. But it shakes around a lot. It's kind of mad. But yeah, I might build a landing pad right here. Just so I can land on it and it doesn't have to bump and everything. And right there. Yes, my potatoes are actually done. And I can actually harvest these. That's even more fuel. Awesome. So, models, that was... Like I said, let me know down in the comments if you think this is actually... ...decent to do anything with. Because at the moment, apart from making really short trips, I don't really know what it would be good for. So, models, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll hopefully see you in the next episode, because we are leading up to the ending of the game 
and some mega boss fights. So I'll hopefully see you in the next episode.